Hey everyone, I am here today to do a review for you of the Wig Pro Wig Kylie in the color 1416 RT8. So Wig Pro reached out to me and asked if I'd be willing to do a review for them, and I haven't really ever seen Wig Pro wigs before. I, I've heard of them a little bit, but I'm not that familiar with them, and I noticed a lot of our wig sisters who do reviews have reviewed Wig Pro wigs, so I felt fairly confident that this was a legit brand, even though I hadn't heard much about it. So I was really excited to partner with them on this review. So today I'm going to show you Kylie. I'm going to tell you everything you ever wanted to know about her. I am going to show some styling. Uh, I'm going to show her out of the box, so you could see what I got out of the box. This is all almost out of the box. I'll tell you what I've done to her. I'll also show you this color outside. So we're going to cover a lot of Kylie in this short time that we're together. So stay tuned if you're curious. So the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to show you Kylie from all sides. I think she's really adorable. I'm really excited to be showing her to you guys. I always like to take a minute and play around with the wig when I'm turned away from you guys so you can see the movement, you can see kind of when you see me do this, that also gives you a good sense of density. This has got a good amount of hair and so you don't have to worry about seeing wefting on this one. So Kylie is a super cute basic cap wig. There are no cap features on Kylie. She has some really adorable curls. I've got my phone here because I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't time out on me. Uh, she's got some really adorable curls here. And it looks like you just took a, a big barreled curling iron and just added a few cute waves. Just really, really easy to wear, cute style. She's got a little bit of a shorter fringe right here can see that. This side has a little bit more layering than this side. So she's got a little bit of an eighth, kind of not a, you know, a little bit different over here than over here. Really, really nice fibers, really comfortable to wear. Let me talk about this color a little bit. So 1416 RT8. On the website it says that this is a rooted chestnut brown with honey blonde tipped with dark ash blonde. So you've got the RT8, and 8 is a medium brown, and that's the rooting. And what's really great about an 8 root as opposed to a 4 root, which you kind of see sometimes, is it doesn't look so stark. It's not so dark, and a, and a chestnut brown is a nice warm brown, so it really complements the light kind of super light brown dark blonde in the 14. A 14 is that transition from brunette to blonde color and so it really complements that. And then you've got the 16 which is you're kind of getting into the golden blonde color and it's not super highlighted. It's just really really pretty. Really well blended. And you'll get to see this color outside as well. As a brunette, and I know I have a lot of brunettes who watch my videos because I do uh, review a lot of brunettes, I'm finding that the more comfortable I get with wigs, the easier it is for me to wear a wig like this if it's got a good root because that looks, you know, it's got the dark that I want, but it's not a super, it's just a perfect root. It's kind of a shadow root. It's not a long root, so it looks really, really realistic. That also helps me when I want to tuck a wig, which this one is really tuckable and she tucks great because my bio hair is a little bit darker and sometimes you can see a shadow of my bio hair. Even though the coverage on this one is super, super good, I'll show that, then it really um, helps it to blend with that rooting. So let's talk about um, a little bit more about the wig. Since I don't know that much about Wig Pro and I know there aren't a ton of reviews out there, I don't usually give measurements, but I will in this case just because there aren't a lot of reviews out there. So we've got a, um, a 4.2 ounce wig. So she's got four ounces of hair, a little over four ounces. That's a pretty good hair density. She is not, 
I would call her moderate density. She's not the most dense wig I've ever had. Like, I've had wigs with tons and tons of hair. But I wouldn't also call her light density. She's moderate, which means you've got a good amount of hair. It's going to be great for styling, which I'm going to show you guys. And then you don't have to worry about wefting showing in the wind. So I love that. She does also doesn't have a lot of permatease. I'll talk about just a little bit of permatease up here, which with this amount of hair, if she had a ton of permatease, she'd be super poofy, and she's really not. Uh, the length, you've got a 6 to 8 inch length in the front, it says. The sides are 11 to 12. Overall, it says it's 12 to 13 inches. So how she falls on me is about shoulder length. Not quite, just above the shoulders, which is a really good length. I think this is a great length for most women. She's not too long, but she's not too short. I think this is going to be a super flattering style for most people. Another thing with this length that I really appreciate, the curls are really kind of on the bottom. So as you see, she's fairly straight on the top, a little, a little kind of wave, but not much curl. The curls are really on the bottom. So that can be challenging for those of us with a, a more of a full face because it can draw our face out a little bit. It kind of makes it look a little fuller. So I appreciate that length because having a little bit of a longer length means that it's not going to, um, I think it'll just be flattering for a lot of people, to be honest with you. I really do. So I really, really appreciate this length. Uh, basic cat means she doesn't have a lace front or any mono features, and that helps to keep the price down. I know a lot of people find those lace fronts a little itchy, so you don't have to worry about with that with this one. And when you see how she sweeps, you don't really need that lace front uh, because you can't see that there isn't one. Now, if you're a like-minded wig sister who loves to pull hair off the face, you're not really going to be able to do that with this one because it doesn't have a lace front uh, unless you've got bio hair to pull out. But what you can do is you can kind of pull her to the side. The way that they've got the hair sewn in, that would work. You could definitely do that. I've had basic cap wigs that for one reason or the other, um, even doing something like this was tough. It kind of still looked obvious. This one you can definitely do that with. So that's fantastic. Let's take a look at this cap. So she has, like I said, a basic cap. So you've got your standard cap. She has open ear tabs, a lot like what Aesthetica does with their ear tabs. She also has a little bit of an open extended nape. And I love that she has Velcro adjusters. That's so important. I think Velcro adjusters are really awesome. And I really appreciate it when wig companies put those on. And that means you um, they're just easier to adjust. I will tell you that she seems to run maybe a slightly small. So I um, find her a little snug on me. I did pull the adjusters all the way out and I don't have a ton of extra cap in her. So I do find that she runs just a little small. If you have an average large head, it could be tricky. Let's see. This. I'll, I'll kind of check out the stretch here uh, because like I said, she does fit me really well. You can look at my measurements in the description and then just a quick look at those beautiful curls. I absolutely love, love, love these curls. They're so pretty. All right. And she's really, really easy to put on. She's really just throw and go. You can see that just from right here. A little finger combing. The one thing I did notice is the bang gave me just a little bit of trouble at first. So I spent quite a bit of time trying to tame and train the bang to go to the side. I used water on my hands and I just did this quite a lot. And, and that's worked fairly well. So I think just with some wear and with some training, if you're finding these bangs not hanging quite right, I really think that'll be good because it's, it's working so far for me. Um, I will also uh, say, like I said, there's just a little bit of extra cap up here. I would say if your measurements over the top of your head are bigger than mine, you're going to be okay. It's the, really the circumference. She fits me, my circumference really, 
snug and I'm 22 inches so you know 23 inches she's might she might be she doesn't have a ton of stretch so I you know I don't know if I would try this at 23 inches now you can always cut the adjusters which always have a slight bit of tension on them even when you have them all the way out that could give you a little bit more but there isn't a lot of stretch I'm feeling quite a bit of resistance when I do this so that's my two cents on that the fit otherwise the coverage is so good so here are the ear tabs they go all the way down. They're just slightly above my ear, so the ear tab ends. But what that's doing is it's giving me great coverage on my low hairline. Really good coverage. I often have a lot of hair, bio hair showing. I have barely any. And I have such a low hairline, you guys. Maybe more so than some other people on the temples. Uh, so, you know, your mileage may vary on that. But I will say the coverage is fantastic on this one. So... I talked about the coverage, talked about the fit. I love the curls. The fibers feel great. They are a nice kind of silky dry, which means they're not going to be super shiny. I do not find this to be super shiny. Whenever you see these videos, you can't tell shine. So please watch videos with a grain of salt. We usually have a lot of light on us. I've got two box lights right here and a ring light because I want to give enough light to the camera so you get a good view of the wig. And that can make fibers look shiny that don't look shiny in person. You're never going to have this much light on you in real life. And so if she's looking shiny on camera, I'm not finding her shiny in person. I've got a few flyaways. I can kind of see it out of the corner of my eye. Um... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to go to my bathroom, which we just tore off all the green striped wallpaper. It's not looking great, but we're remodeling our bathroom. I'm so excited because um, I hate that wallpaper. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen my older videos with the green striped wallpaper. Not good. But I'm gonna, I can't do styling very well just standing here. I'm not great at styling. So I'm going to go to my bathroom, and I'm going to show you a few styling options with her, which I think are plentiful. And I'm going to get outside. And then I did film it out of the box. She did have some box hair. And all I did was spray her really well with water. I shook her out vigorously. And then I scrunched her up, you know, scrunch. And then I hung her upside down. That is all I've done to her. I have not put product in her. I have not done anything but that. And that's my typical go-to with curly wavy wigs. I want to see how much curl I can get out of them. So I usually spray them with just plain water. And that's what I did with her. So you'll be able to see her out of the box at the end of this video. All right, guys, hang on so I can get into the bathroom and start doing some styling. Okay, so we're back. We're in my bathroom. It's very echoey in here. I apologize. We've torn all the wallpaper off. We've taken a lot of things out of here. So we're in the process of trying to remodel this bathroom, which it desperately needs. But this is the best place for me to show styling. Okay, so I will tell you guys that I think wigs of this length that have some curl are perfect for styling because they're not too long to give you too much hair to deal with, but they're just long enough. And having curl like this is so great. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how easy you can sweep her to the side. Now you can either choose to take all of the hair with you or you can leave a few little pieces and you can use some piece out cream to hold it. But like I said in the first part of this video, since she's basic cap, you can't really um, pull her up, but you can pull her to the side. And that works so great. And I do like to do that. If I'm going to be working, you know, if I were to wear her to work and I'm on a computer all day, I might want to pull her off my face. And then this side, I could just choose to tuck. Like I said, she's really tuckable. And then, there you go. You got a really easy, really realistic style. And she definitely looks realistic. And you can see that right there. It doesn't look wiggy at all. Something else I really love with this length of wigs is low ponies or clips in the back leaving some hair out so you can take the hair and you know you just want to pull a little bit of hair down to make it look a little bit realistic but it doesn't take a lot and then you can just stick a clip in or a little ponytail holder kind of whatever you have on hand. I don't know if I chose the right clip for this, but and then you can just clip it down. 
And you know, like I said, like I've said in all my videos, styling is not my thing, which is why I love synthetic wigs. So it would take me <laughs> a lot more effort to make it look good. But I'm just trying to give you guys a sense of kind of what you can do. You can also pull just some of the hair back and leave the rest of it down and stick a clip in. And I love with wefted wigs, you can stick the clip through the wefting. So that's really cute. And then you've got it just clipped in the back. And it's really secure because I've stuck that clip through the wefting. And because of the density of hair, you do not have to worry about seeing wefting because it doesn't have much permatease. The only permatease is right here. There really isn't any pillowy, poofy permatease anywhere else. You don't have to worry about hiding permatease either. So the styling on this, tremendous and so many flexible options. So I'm a fan. I think she's a great wig. She's comfortable. I think she's well made. The fibers feel great. She's really, really easy, good styling. And I got a coupon for you guys. So um, best wig outlet is the retailer that the Wig Pro works with a lot. That's the name of the retailer that they sent me. So you can go to Best Wig Outlet. I'll link everything in the description. And if you put in the code WIGPRO20, you'll get 20% off your purchase. All this will be in the description, so please check that out. Thank you so much, Wig Pro, for sending me this beautiful, beautiful Kylie to review for everyone. I give her two thumbs up. I don't see anything about her that I dislike at this point. I really haven't worn her a lot, but she is kind of a style that's right up my alley, so I do plan to wear her, and I can give you guys an update once I've worn her a little bit and styled her and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching, you guys. I really appreciate that you're here, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, everyone, here we are with the color 1416 RT8 from Wig Pro outside. It's very, very sunny out. And in the summer, it's so much easier for me to get these outside looks. But in the fall and winter, it can be challenging. I'm going to go into the sun here for a second. Really bright. All right, back into the shade. Get over here. It's just a really warm golden. You can see that rooting. Definitely on the blonde end, I would say, but borderline enough. If you can do super light browns, I think you can do this. All right, guys, hopefully this is helpful. Best I could do given how sunny it is today. Thanks for watching. All right, here's the out of the box for Kylie. Aren't you loving this shaggy hairdo that I got going on? I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair. I'm trying to grow it out, but I may need to buzz it again. It's driving me crazy. All right, so let's get her on. So I took her out of the box and I took the tags off. That's all I've done. This is out of the box. I don't know whether to be excited <laughs> or not. So when I get a hair that has really bad box hair, sometimes I'm actually happy because that allows me to show you guys what can happen out of the box. And then hopefully if this turns out cute, then you'll be encouraged when you get a, hair, uh, a wig that doesn't look great out of the box. So this one definitely has a lot of box hair, a lot, just needs a lot of kind of TLC, um, you know, we can't expect wigs to look great out of the box. When they do, it's a super bonus. So this one doesn't. So a few things, first of all, you really just gotta make sure you're shaking them out. And those of you who watch my videos, you see me do this all the time, you might not even care about this part, but I know a lot of new wig wearers. I just don't know what to do with these wigs. I know I didn't. So I wanna make sure I cover this 
for all of my audience, not just our experienced wig wearers who just want to see a style, but those of you who maybe you even haven't bought a wig yet, and so you're not sure what to expect. So first of all, you shake a wig out. You want to make sure you wake up the fibers. I like to put my fingers through the wefting and do a really good shake, and this allows me to hang on to the wig a little better. You can do a couple of tosses. Given how, um, how much box hair this one has and how kind of unruly the curls are, my guess is I'm going to need to use water as well. But the first step is just to see what we can do. So now I want to gently kind of comb at the cap to wake up the permatease because this wig does have permatease and so that can uh, contribute a lot to box hair because it can compact and then it can really um, give weird lumps and bumps so we're going to do that now because she's curly I don't really want to comb her outright until I see what the curls want to do so I'm going to gently kind of run my comb through the just the outside of the curls smooth them out just slightly i don't like to comb curls overall um, because i don't want to relax them or make them go frizzy till i know how they'll behave but i noticed on this one the curls were really odd in one side so i definitely want to do some of that all right so let's put her back on just based on that let's see what we got cap is a little snug, I would say. It's definitely not generously sized. Okay, so already you can see we're better. We've got some lift and some volume, and the fibers are waking up. So right now, I'm happy. I'm happy with the progress. Now, this is a basic cap wig, so we're not going to have any lace front or monofilament to deal with. I'm really pleased though with the lack of visible permatees. That's awesome. Well, so far so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spray her with water so that I can scrunch up these curls and see what happens when they get wet and get scrunched up. You know, she's a little lopsided right now with having a lot more curls and a lot more length over here. So we'll just play with that. I may need to play with the part. The good thing with a basic cap is you're not kind of limited to the part because there is no monofilament. So if you wanted to change the part, you can totally do that with a basic cap. So I'm gonna spray her down, I'm gonna scrunch her, I'm gonna hang her upside down back there on my towel rack, and then hopefully, we'll see something really fun. So you'll have already seen everything and I'll told you what I did, but that's what I started with. Thanks for watching you guys.